welcome Virgos, this is your love reading for June 6 to 7, the quickies series. What's been going on? Hmm, I've been embodying something, coming into the truth about it. Nectar, the knowing, the stone. Extra context please, spirit. The vessel for Virgo. Oh, the lovers. Juicy. It's feeling quite warm and so you're getting clear on some disappointments. Calling in a mentor. Number five for change. Cleansing your space. Allowing truth to reside. Uh, letting go of all the anguish and the can't do it, what if kind of energy. Letting go of betrayal, cleansing, cleansing, cleansing. Oof. Secrets and deception. Ace of Cups and new love. Ooh, with an emotional, watery sign. Maybe a verb, uh, maybe a, maybe a Scorpio or Cancer. feels like there's been, um, yeah, it, it's not feeling good, I'm going to be honest. feels like it's time to come back within, into yourself, into your body, have private time to, you know, pull all your energy back to yourself and, um, yeah, honour your beautiful temple. One of the love that was, but there's some cleansing and lots of stuff, too much stuff there, calling in new love. Um, and we're moving into a place of the nectar. So when we meditate, we get so clear on what it is that's calling to us. Um, when we surround ourselves with joy and people that get us and, and love and all the vibrations that make us blissful, we feel juicy and we feel you know, we feel the joy of life. Um, yeah, so a bit of healing in terms of what's happened in the past, coming into alignment with yourself, not relying on that relationship that you've had and that's most likely ended, hopefully. Coming into your knowing, coming into alignment with this new love this soft masculine creative kind of energy which which is just kind of you know it's, it's flowing and allowing yourself gosh so many people have had this the six of pentacles allowing um generosity you know someone wants to take you on a date and pay for you or shout you a weekend away or whatever allow it you are a king and a queen a goddess a, i was gonna say a centaur <laughs> you're a virgo um, allowing all the beautiful psychic, sacred feminine um, knowings to come to you. We've got Gnosis, which is knowing. It's going within. It's just follow the gut. You know, as, as hard as it is, if you've had, if you've met, if you've had this love affair and, and you just don't want to believe the deceit, if you've got this feeling that someone's cheating, or if you've got this feeling, just an icky feeling. You know, the feels never lie. You know, honor your magic. It's around you. You know, trust in yourself, action, and the stone is the outcome. Was ist das Stone? Stone, I forgot what the stone means. I guess being grounded. The anchor, the rock. Yeah, like what anchors you to earth? Like, call it in. Maybe you're looking for the rock. Self-sabotage. I want to smash that apart. Oh, negative thinking. The star and sudden change. So we want to come to a place. I think you're calling in a rock. Yeah, you've had someone who was a bit of a cheater. There's betrayal who brought you out of yourself. And you're moving into this, this, this new love with someone who's really soft and very different. Very, very different energy and um, magical 
yeah and an opportunity within this new connection is there an opportunity to let go of of the negative past and the self-sabotage mm -mm -mm. and the card from the universe dear virgos the observer yeah when we can detach from the outcome we can observe you know if we just go stay open and we we go we want this but it might not be with the person that we're with yeah so stay open be the observer stay in your knowing call in that rock lots of love and i will see you in a week for the next quickie unless there's some cosmic event that calls me to do another reading okay ciao ciao